Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch, and today we're painting a lovely little Christmas tree on a card. Happy painting. I'm just doing a very easy, loose tree design on a card, and I'm doing it with a very narrow point but a round big brush so that I can get both the tiny little leaves and the big wide areas. I'm using a mix of phthalo green and burnt sienna. And see how I started with the the central trunk but that's blurring very quickly as I move down the tree. Those tiny little leaves out there. So just kind of a scribbled tree shape. Nothing complicated about it. From here, you could go anywhere. I'm going to do it in kind of a idea of a snowstorm, but I mean, uh, in uh, snow, but you could do a snowstorm with splattering some gouache on it. You could um, put red Christmas balls and splatter gold or use gold embossing. You could go anywhere from this. I've used a basic Christmas tree for a lot of my cards because it's just pretty and fun. So I just want a little bit of reflection. Like there might be snow there, but I'm not really painting anything detailed. This is one of the quickest Christmas cards. If you're in a hurry to do your Christmas, the wreath and this are very fast. It's nice to have a little bit of variation though where there's some very easy ones and some more complicated ones. And a Christmas tree is always a happy thing to get. And when you're walking in the woods and you see what might as well be a Christmas tree standing just isolated in a little area of snow or in the woods. It's just something special. I always think of the balsam firs up in Maine. Just the smell, it's it's lovely. A little bit of splatter to make it very happy and cheery. Now this has dried completely and I'm going to go in with one more wash. I didn't actually need that one more wash. It was probably enough like it is, but you know me, I always have to do at least three washes. So this is back in with the phthalo green and a little bit of burnt sienna just to darken and dull it a bit. trunk of the tree. I'm not really bothering much with shadows or anything in these. Very, very simple. Very delicate trunk line which you can see going in and out of the branches. Splatter paint a little nickel azo yellow just to give it kind of a golden glow. Like maybe there's some sunlight hitting some areas in the snow. A little bit more splatter paint, some cobalt teal. And there you have it, a lovely little Christmas tree. You could go with embossing powder to give some gold sparkle. You could put some more reds on there. This is how it looks when it's completely dry, and I hope this inspires you to paint a little Christmas tree of your own. Thanks for watching 12 Days of Christmas Cards. 
If you have any questions, please go to my website, paintingwatercolor.com, where I have all the materials and examples listed. I hope that you have a very joyful holiday season and happy painting.